Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Rio the Gamer, and today I have a first impressions live commentary for two informs. First, the inform Coutinho, and second, the inform Diego, both in this week's Team of the Week. And for Coutinho, I paid 85,000 coins, and uh, I just really wanted to try him out because of his uh, 93 dribbling, and then Diego for his 90 dribbling. It's unfortunate that he's not a center attacking mid like his first inform in his regular card, but. Um, Hopefully he'll still get the ball a decent amount, um, so I can try him out. And as you saw on both of those, I have played one game with this team just to figure out where each player was going to be in a four one two one two. I don't play this formation very often, and so I just needed to do a little a warm up. And I was also in like the semifinals of the Gold Cup, so I just needed to lose, and I did anyway. That's a one bar. I'm not going to play one bar. It is pretty early. Maybe it's not a good time to be recording this. It's currently 6.20 in the morning. So, you know, probably not too many people playing at uh, this early on a Friday. I, I don't have any classes on Friday, so I can do whatever the hell I want. I also have a muffin here right next to me that's staring me in the face. It looks really good. But we're going to play this Chelsea fan. And I feel like I only match up against Chelsea fans. There's so many players that I, so many people I play against have uh, Chelsea kits and whatnot. He probably has a full BPL team though. Holy shit, that's not a BPL team. He has a very highly rated, I don't know, just team. Uh, doesn't look too good as, in terms of chemistry, except for that bottom left half, or bottom left side. Unfortunately, he can't get that 100 chemistry. But uh, I don't really expect him to be too good. I expect his players to do well, but I don't really think he's going to be that great. Because that team isn't really that expensive either. I'm pretty sure I could afford that team and still have um, a decent amount left over. So I don't think he had any informs. So I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to see who he had. But 3-4-3 um, three, three is what he's playing, so hopefully um, I can break that down pretty simply. That would be ideal. But we need to find Diego. Out to Maxwell. Inform Maxwell, I used to trade with all the time. And uh, I just uh, decided to ch check him out, see what his price is at at the moment, because he's still from like one of the first team of the weeks and hasn't got an inform since. And his price is dropping, and I think that's just due to everybody, everybody's price dropping. Um, you know, team of the season coming out probably next week, the first... Uh, round of team of the seasons like um the gold most consistent or all of the most consistent i'm not sure if they release all of the uh, the most consistent never informed players all at once or if they do them all separately because i think they do a gold silver and bronze or just gold and silver i'm not entirely sure but um you know that should that should be nice i'm definitely going to be looking forward to a bunch of team of the season players and send coutinho through he's a little tired already which is unfortunate Oh, do some skills. Oh, that he had a couple of nice touches there as uh, he cut inside. All right, there we go. When the ball back, Maxwell, not sure what you're, what you're doing over here. There's Paulinho. Paulinho pushes up, in my opinion, too much for a, a, to play at CDM. Probably would be a really good uh, center mid. Although he does have good defending stats. That's why I put him back there, and I got him for uh, pretty cheap. I don't know why I'm just resorting to crossing the ball in, but Coutinho probably should have finished that. It was on his weak foot, and it was a volley. Not sure what his in-game stats are. Going to have to check him out, see what his volleys are. But I really want to just get the ball to the informs. It's too bad that Diego is like way out here in the middle of nowhere. Get the ball to Paulinho. I don't know why I went for the finish shot, that, but that was not too bad off the crossbar. And he wants to watch the replay, apparently. Alright. Just reset. And hopefully this doesn't end up like the, uh, the Portland Timbers game yesterday. For those of you who do not know, I live in America. You probably could tell just by the way I talk. But, um, yeah, my, my local MLS team would be the Portland Timbers. And I went to the match last night. It was a weekday night, 
Um, and my friend had an extra ticket, so I was able to go. We had like something like 22 shots total and 67 or 64 percent possession at the end of the game and then uh, ended up tying 0-0. So that was just so frustrating um, and hopefully there's not a repeat of that in this FIFA game I'm playing because I want to win. I want to try to score some really nice goals or if I don't end up scoring, at least trying out the informs to the fullest possible so just work the ball around this guy I'm pretty sure is just actually he might not be using contained because his players are sliding all over the place he's just got really good players that know where to position themselves so he might not need to use contain but my players decided to sleep go to sleep take a little nap on defense not sure where anybody was the people that were back there didn't really do much. Alright, this guy's counterattacks should be probably the thing that I should look out for him the most. Just try to prevent that as much as possible. D2 is a uh, is really good player. Send Diego through. Should be able to finesse that around the keeper uh, as, uh, as they did just there. But uh, hopefully this, uh, this opponent decides to stay around if I do end up scoring a couple more goals because it seems like the type of player that just bought just as many expensive players as he could because um, he probably like packed somebody really nice or he just bought a whole bunch of coins because uh, you know he's not the most skilled player perhaps he's good at trading you know I'm I'm pretty good at trading and I don't consider myself to be the best player but I do think I'm better than average at uh, at least in this game I would definitely was better at FIFA 12, FIFA 11, when uh, when contain wasn't as used, and when uh, there was just a drop-in match mode where there's no divisions, because that way, you know, I could use bronze teams, silver teams, and then still try to beat people who had the same uh, had the same team ranking as mine, or similar, I should say. To try to do some skill moves, team of the team of the year PK. Probably be really hard to. Oh god, that guy's wide open. Team of the, team of the year PK might have been pretty hard to beat with skill moves and uh, just trying to get past him. But Eden Hazard equalizes. I was probably gonna concede no matter what in that situation, even if I had done something better, like not brought up my keeper. I probably still would have conceded something. Try Coutinho's dribbling, 93 dribbling. Should be pretty good. And it does appear to be. He gets touches on the ball fairly quickly. And, uh, yeah, that's nice to see. That's that's the reason that I bought him. And, uh, hopefully he can get on the score sheet. Oh, Diego had another attempt. That one he hit with his left foot, which I don't know why he did that. But uh, free kick stats, Coutinho has... 64, 79, 90, and then Diego, 77, 97, 96. That looks like the, uh, the inform Akisi, or Akiji, I heard is uh, how it's actually pronounced. But uh, that's just uh, what I heard. So, uh, you know, the Turkish Bundesliga guy, I did a inform review on him. Oh, I did not mean to hit that with Hulk's right foot, but it was actually quite good. All right, get this off of Aaron Robin to Torres. All right, Dede. Who's making a run? Who's making a run? I'll just play it out wide. That was a terrible through ball. Wow. That was really close. Oh, wide open back post is Hulk, but I don't think Hulk's known for his heading. That'll be halftime. I'm going to check out some in-game stats. I guess I will go for Coutinho because... Um, or actually, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll, I'll look at Coutinho. And then maybe later on, I'll look at Diego. Let's see, 94 ball control, 90 curve, 95 dribbling. Uh, only 64 finishing, that's not very good. Is that 81 short pass, 80 volleys, medium, medium work rates, 89 acceleration, 94 agility, 91 balance. Both of those are pretty good. Um, 80 sprint speed. 84 reactions and uh, 76 vision. Those are the, probably the main ones there. 
But uh, let's resume. I wanna, I wanna beat this guy, just because his team is pretty good. He's, he should sell his players, otherwise he's gonna lose a shitload of coins. Unless he's one of those players with like three million that doesn't really matter, um, or they don't really care about how much they lose. But Diego finesse? Oh yes, I like that finesse shot from Inform Diego. I don't know what celebration I'm trying to do. Do a little dance, Brazilian samba. If Brazilians even do sambas. Uh, da -da, what am I? What am I trying to say? I was thinking of something. Oh God! Oh, that was close. Um, I, I don't remember. Oh, actually, I do. Uh, speaking of Hulk, I was talking about him a little bit earlier, but um, I saw on on a website I go to just to look at transfer rumors. I saw that AS Monaco, the team that got bought out by I don't know some really rich person, I think some really rich Russian guy, bought the club once they got promoted to League One. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, wow. But, um, yeah, AS Monaco going to be in League One, and then their their new manager or their new owner or whatever is putting, like, so much money into the club for expensive and really good players. That's that's not a bad goal from Di Maria. I quite like Di Maria in this game. But, um, keep getting distracted. Uh... I keep saying, uh, as well. But the manager apparently was looking at Hulk to go to play um, in League One for Monaco. I think that was a, that's a pretty good idea because I don't... I mean, I think Hulk likes it out in Russia, but I think just for FIFA purposes, it would be really cool to see him in League One, make some cool, better better teams in, uh, in League One if they decide to sign some, some better players because... League One is probably one of my least favorite leagues in this game. It was cool to make with, um... Oh, can I get this in? Oh, wow, that was a terrible, Pato. But, um, League One, there are not too many good players in League One, in my opinion. There are, like, of course, Ibrahimovic and, um, you know, some other players. Like, Pastore is really good. But, um, you know, as, as far as wingers, oh, he's offside. There aren't too many good wingers, especially if Hulk... Is uh, still a right wing out in League One. You can make some pretty cool hybrids. But uh, they were also looking at a couple other other um, players, like I think. Oh God! Oh, that was that was clutch. He's offside. But um, who? What's his name? Jeremy Menez for PSG. There, Monaco was looking at him as well. I think. I mean, this, they're, they're all just rumors. But um. I think that would be pretty nice as well because he doesn't get, he doesn't start every match or um, even play every match in uh, PSG. So you know, just trying to spread out the power because as as far as it goes, or I don't know what I'm trying to say. As far as um, the the league goes, PSG is pretty dominant. I mean, not too many other teams can match their their money basically. So. I think it's pretty cool that Monaco's doing this, or that somebody bought that team, just so there can be some more competition in that league, especially if they make good purchases. But uh, I don't really follow League One too much. I just thought it would be cool to have some more, have some different players in there for FIFA, try out some more hybrid teams and whatnot. But I should probably focus on trying to score some more goals. Find Coutinho because he hasn't been on the ball very often. Oh god, counterattack! Oh, good work, Danilo. Oh wow. How does Torres still have the ball? Why did he pass it out there instead of Hulk? Should I just pass it to Hulk? Okay, Robin. That was a bad pass, probably because it was his right foot that he used. Okay, I need to go, like, attacking. There we go. It's not a foul. All right, get this Di Diego. Have a hit. Oh, damn it. Team of the, team of the year, PK, rather. Is, uh, kind of a brick wall. As, uh, as I've heard by... Oh, wow, I don't like these chip-through balls. As I've heard, uh, and seen through... Oh, that's not a fucking foul. 
As I've seen through reviews and whatnot, people said that he's really good. Alright, don't know why he decided to waste that free kick. This is Danilo played out wide to Hulk. Oh wow, he's so tired. Gotta get the ball off his feet. Otherwise, he's not gonna outpace anybody. Okay, who's behind me? Um, I don't know what to do in this situation, because now he is using contain. If he wasn't earlier. Shoot. I don't know, this is just what happens to me in, in games now. I just end up having the ball top of the 18. Oh, that was a really nice goal. Okay, no, scratch that. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yep. I meant to do that. Well, I did, but... What I was going to say is, in most games, as of late, um, or even as of the beginning of FIFA, just of how much people use contained defense, I just end up passing the ball around the top of the 18, and then just trying for the best. And that one, that play was actually pretty good, finding Diego, who had some space. And that's probably just due to the fact that he's got three defenders, and um, there's a little a little extra gap and extra space in there for um, Diego to slip in. Oh, what do you... Deron Paulinho. Man, they need to fix AI. It's so terrible. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to be able to step in time. Actually, I think I overran it with Dede. Sergio Ramos, I should not let him get on these headers too too often even though I've already let him win like t two of them so uh, unfortunately Coutinho hasn't gotten the the spotlight as much as I had hoped but um, at least one of, one of the informs has and that of course is Diego pretty nice long shot from the top of the box as well as two really nice finesse shots that he managed to score so pretty good pretty good Um, Coutinho with this nice balance was able to hold off whoever that defender was. I gotta watch out for the chip through ball. You don't want to do it, Robin. You know you don't. You can spare, spare me the. Oh God. Okay, there we go. That should be the game. Just uh, hold it for a little bit. There we go. But um, oh, I I forgot to check Diego's in-game stats. Now I really want to. Can I still do it? No, I cannot. But, um, anyway, Diego, really good. Too bad he's not a center attacking mid, but, um, still performed really well in a left mid. So, that, um, that makes me pleased that I decided to get him. Five, of five, five out of five shots on targets and 10 out of 10 passes completed and almost, um, had 100% dribbles completed as well. So, really good from Inform Diego. And um, perhaps I'll try him at a left wing or something. But I think I do like him at the left mid. Suits him better because he's not very fast and he's got good passing and whatnot. So can I can I go to like team? I, I don't think I can see it from here. But um, anyway, thank you all for watching. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you Diego's in-game stats. But I'm sure you'll f be able to find that somewhere else on YouTube. So thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's been a trend of me saying that more than once at the end of each video, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.